Okay, so now we've got our stake clamped so that it's resting high, proud of the vise, locked in place. And that's going to allow us to continue to do our curving in this direction. And then we're going to try and add a second curve in the opposite direction. You'll find as one curve gets produced, the second curve tries to undo it. So you end up working back and forth. And you'll find that this softer radius will end up resolving some of the issues we have. Rotate. So we've got a fairly tight curve now. It's a little bit flat here, so I'm going to actually go beyond the edge to get that last radius. Occasionally, if you miss, you get a dent. So let me just make that obvious to the camera. There's a dent here. So you can see that dent right there. If you want to knock that out, all you have to do is flip your metal over and hammer from the backside with your rubber mallet. Just make sure that you can hit that one spot. You can see where the dent was right there. So as much hammering as it takes. Okay. So now we're going to add our second curve. And I'm just using the soft radius. Bring that curve back out. And so if you find that your lip or crimp gets undone, you can go back to your heel, lock it in. And bring it back in line, okay? And I call it the heel, but it's really just another edge of your stake, okay? I'm just used to referring to it as an anvil, and usually that squared off section is always the heel. Okay, so this would technically be the horn of the anvil, even though it's not horn shaped. This would be the heel, and these would be the edges. Uh, for your stake, that helps you to find things, but in all honesty, it's just another edge. So there's our curved plate, and we still need to get our compound curve in. And there's only so much you're going to do as you hammer to get this curve and that curve to add to one another. Most of that work is going to occur at the soft radius or the more extreme radius as I just hammer that section over and over. So we're going to do that on a time lapse.